welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today, we are talking about the new lipsticks from Gucci. So these are called the Gucci Rouge de Beauté Brilliant Glow and Care Lip Colors. It's kind of a long name, but these are 0 0.06 ounces or 1.8 grams. They're made in Italy and they have an 18 month shelf life. I picked up two shades, so we'll do some arm swatches and some lip swatches of these. But first, let's go over a little bit of product information. So this here is the packaging. You can see that it's gorgeous. You've got this vintage design on here. I mean, Gucci never disappoints with the packaging. I think it's stunning. You have like the ribbed gold on the bottom and it's the slim style lipstick. The case has a quick closure and you do have the information on the bottom. The box comes in the typical Gucci box with the kind of like that warm petal pink. And I will put the ingredients for this down below in the description box. So if you are interested in checking out the ingredients, be sure to check that out. And just a little bit of information about these lipsticks according to Gucci. And these retail for 42 US dollars. They are available on Gucci's website, on Sephora, Nordstrom, uh, Selfridges. So there are quite a few retailers. I'll have purchasing information down below if you are interested. And these lipsticks have a wet glow finish. It's a new long lasting glowy finish with an ultra moisturizing formula. The creamy texture highlights and preserves the natural beauty of the mouth. So lips look fuller and plumped. Flower oils, fruit butters, hyaluronic acid are included and the lips are saturated with pigment. This is a hybrid lipstick with a dual action formula. It's deeply moisturizing, long lasting with high shine. It has a luminous finish that lasts and it's a combination of a sheer and satin lipstick. So those are the claims made by Gucci. That information is from the Gucci website. And I have been testing these for a few days now. And I have to say, when you first put them on, they feel very, very nice, very comfortable, very creamy. We're going to talk a little bit more about my thoughts and what I think of these after we do some swatches. So let's start off with some arm swatches. This first shade that I picked up is called number 112, Sally Soft Honey. And let me just build it up there a bit. So you can see that it is a very soft, peachy nude kind of shade. And I wouldn't say that this is overly warm tone. It's neutral leaning warm, but it's not something super warm. Then this next shade here is 214. Call it a day. I'm sorry, my arm is like kind of stained. I've been swatching a lot this week and it just not coming off. <laughs> so um, this is 214, call it a day. And you can see that this is more of a, like a soft rosewood shade. Both of these though are fairly light. So right now on my lips, I have 214 call it a day. And you can see that, you know, it definitely has some pigment to it, but it's still pretty light. There are deeper shades in this line and those apparently are much more pigmented, but the lighter shades, they are more on the sheer side. So as I'm showing you the lip swatches, I'm gonna go ahead and share my thoughts on these lipsticks. So first up, we have number 112, Sally Soft Honey. And you can see that just with one layer, it's very sheer. You can't really see it too well on my lips. And then if you go in and build it up, you can get a little bit of color, but this shade in particular is very light. So if you're looking for like barely their color, this would be a good option. And for this formula in general, I would say that Gucci's claims to have a wet glow finish. I do think that's what the finish looks like. It's very moisturizing looking. I would say it's a shiny lipstick. It's not as shiny as a gloss in my opinion. And the fact that it's a combination of a sheer and a satin lipstick, I can see that, but these lighter shades are definitely more on the sheer side than the satin side. So it's almost like the, the texture of this almost feels like you took one of like a soft satin lipstick and you whipped it like you, you whipped it in a blender and then you put it back in. So it's like the difference between like cream cheese and whipped cream cheese, you know, that type of thing. So it just feels like there's more air in it. It's a softer formula. It's a little bit creamier. 
And one of the things to note with this, and I'll show you what this looks like after these swatches, but this particular formula is very, it's very soft. So you're actually applying a lot of the product at one time. So we'll go through that in a second. Other claims from Gucci, uh, lips look fuller and plumped. I'm not really sure about that. I wouldn't say that they look particularly more full and I don't feel any plumping action or anything like that. There is a fragrance with this lipstick and you know, I'm personally not a huge fan of Gucci lipsticks. I decided to try these because they looked very different from their other lipsticks, which I've only tried the satin and the lip balms. I have not tried their mattes, which I've heard are fantastic, but I've never been a huge fan of the scent. And I don't like this one either. And it's like, I can almost taste it. So it's just, it's not my personal preference. So I'm not a huge fan of this scent. Now, as for the claim that these are deeply moisturizing, I feel like when you put these on, it definitely feels like you've got some moisture going onto your lips. They feel soft, they feel creamy, but they kind of soak into your lips very quickly. So even though I just recently applied this lipstick, it's already soaking in and I feel much less glide between my lips. And it's only been about 10 minutes since I put it on. So, you know, it soaks in fairly quickly. Now the shininess does last, you know, a, a decent amount of time, but I feel like these in general kind of wear off or soak in and they don't necessarily do it all that evenly. So my friend Gita has actually tried quite a few of these lipsticks now as well. And she has had kind of the same opinions that I have with these wearing unevenly. Now she has tried more pigmented shades and that's a little bit more evident there. It's not as evident with these lighter shades, but as I continue to wear the lipstick, it's sort of like it migrates to the outer lip boundaries. I have not had issues with feathering yet, but I could see it happening but I end up kind of with like that darker line around the outside of my lips and you know, the, the center portion kind of like fades away and it's not necessarily always completely evenly across my lips. So just something to note there. I don't think the wear on these is fantastic. These are better suited for like a short term colored lip balm. In my opinion, they feel very nice going on. I like the texture of them. When I first tried one, I was like, oh my goodness, you know, these are fantastic. But after about an hour starting to reconsider. So I've been testing it for a few days to really be sure of my thoughts on this. And I just want to show you like this here is the 112 Sally Soft Honey. I have worn this three or four times and you can see already how much of the product is gone from this package. Now, the one that I have used the most is actually the 214 Call It A Day. And you can see here how much is used up. Now, just for reference, the Chanel Bloom lipsticks that just came out, these are three grams of product. These are also a soft formula. You can see how much I've used up of this, but there's three grams there. <laughs> and then the new Guerlain um, Kiss Kiss lip shines, these are 3.2 grams. So just for comparisons, you know, these are all kind of around the same ballpark in price, but the Gucci is almost half the amount of product in those. So this is actually very expensive for a lipstick and it, it's a soft formula. And to get the color, at least with these two lighter shades, you really kind of have to go over it a lot. So I, I feel like I'll definitely be panning these. And just something to note that, you know, you kind of have to build it up. So if you fall in love with one of these, I expect to go through it pretty quickly. So in summation, I would have to say that unfortunately, I don't think the Gucci lipsticks are worth the money. You know, they have gorgeous packaging. I love their packaging. I don't think it's a bad idea to, to pick up one for the beautiful packaging personally. And I do like the way it feels going on. You know, if I think of it more as like a short term lip color or uh, more of a, a tinted lip balm for the shades that I got, you know, then I'm totally okay with that. However, the amount of product in here is really not gonna last very long. So I do not plan on repurchasing these, but 
you know, I know other people really do like the Gucci lipsticks. So if you are a fan of Gucci lipsticks, it's worth trying one. I personally, however, have not enjoyed the satin formula or the lip balm formula. I do like this formula much, much better, but unfortunately I just don't find it to be worth the cost. So that's my opinion on these Gucci lipsticks. Now with all of these newest, you know, lipsticks that have been coming out, I really thought they were all going to be a little bit more similar to each other because they're all promoted as high shine lipsticks. So I will have a full comparison of the new Gucci lipsticks, the new Guerlain Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom lipsticks, and the new Chanel Rouge Coco blooms, and also the Chanel Rouge Coco flashes. So I will compare all of those uh, hopefully for Monday for our Makeup Monday video and you know kind of go through the differences and cost comparisons and so forth on that the differences in the finishes and the texture and so forth so if you're interested in that be sure to check that out and just one more time for the swatches here again we have number 112 sally soft honey and 214 call it a day between the two shades i think they're both really pretty shades but the 112 doesn't show up very well on my lips so if i were to pick one of these two 214 call it a day would be my preference. And one more thing, as I mentioned, these lipsticks are not very long wearing. So I actually like to reapply these like every hour, hour and a half or so, just because I like to have something emollient on my lips. And this formula seems to kind of soak in a little bit. It doesn't, you know, at least with my two lighter shades, it doesn't really leave much of a stain like other lipsticks. So you can see from my arm, I've got like staining residue left. I've tried really hard to get that off. Those are from other lipstick formulas that I was testing yesterday. These two, let me just show you how they wipe off. So there's no water or anything. And you can see that you have not too much left there. And by contrast, if I use one of the other lipsticks, like I have to go in with an actual makeup remover to get it this far. So I just wanted to kind of show you that for, I hope this video is helpful. Again, if you are considering picking up one of these, they're available at Sephora and the Sephora sale starts for Rouge members, April 9th. So make sure if you are interested, you, you know, take advantage of a sale if possible. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon. Have a great day. Stay safe and healthy.